Concealed weapons permits in North Idaho are skyrocketing. This year so far, the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office has issued four times the amount than it did two years ago. In KXY 4's Ian Cole explains why it's actually putting deputies at ease. We wanted to see how many people were actually going in and out of the Sheriff's Office to get a concealed weapons permit. And in the first five minutes, two people came in. People like Robert Adcox, who walked right in after an interview. He's a retired Marine of 20 years. I like being, having one with me, uh, especially when I go out in the woods or uh, travel a lot. So you can never tell, you know. I've, I don't care to ever have to use it, but it's there if I need it. And former Boise State basketball player turned bounty hunter Shalia McHenry. You know, you want to go out and protect yourself just as much as, you know, you don't know what they have when you go out to pick them up. These stories keep coming through the door. From January to June in 2011, 429 permits were issued. That number more than doubled last year, and then it jumped again this year. And the sheriff's office says it's now closing its booth down on Mondays. Basically what happens on Mondays, we have all the paperwork that comes in from the weekends because we don't have staff on the weekends. And uh, once Monday hits, they're trying to do all that and process all the applications. Deputies say they like the spike because it means more people are getting fingerprinted and want deputies to know that they're packing. The people that we kind of tend to work about more are the people that carry the gun without a permit and they're the more of a irresponsible folks that uh, may have a bad criminal background um, mental issues. Lieutenant Miller also expects another jump on July 1st. That's when the state's enhanced conceals weapons permit will be available basically to allow Idahoans to travel outside of the state with their weapons. In Coeur d'Alene, Ian Cole, KXOY4 News.